that the former manager of May's Pia Osio. So we're still on. So, uh, Steve, yes, uh, kuna, there is something that people would like to hear from you. Why did you guys separate? Why did you guys part ways with Miss P? What really happened? Okay. Um, thank you, guys. My name is Sitati, Steve. Sawa. So the reason why we separated with uh, Miss P, uh, as I told you, when you have to say, you have complications kidogo. But Miss P, you have to say, Ishumbaya, tulipigana, tulifanya nini, ishu ya pesa, aa. Ilikuwa tu sawa, cause ata unakumbuka ulitufanya interview, ulitufanya mm -hmm. interview with Spi. Mm -hmm. Na Miss Spi akasema Steve andaka kutoka because of some reasons. Na Miss Spi akasema ni stoke, but we had to cause one, nilikuwa so busy. Ujua ma businessman. Oh, busy. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh. I do businesses, so nilikuwa busy sana. Mm your time mm. na unajua ku manage an artist ni kazi ngumu sana it's a Hectic. lot of work eh hey. a lot of work it's a lot of lazima make sure kuna jobs mm. ame hit mm. unajua all those so mm. yeah that's why ni ditoka cuz nilikuwa so busy mm. one two nilitoka because uh, uh, unajua mimi before way before mm. nilikuwa msani na nimekuwa msani all this while mm. but nimekuwa msani different nimekuwa nafanya live bands. Oh, live band. But, yeah, nilianza kama recording artist kabisa. Kuna siku moja nitakuja niwaambie my journey of how I knew how kina kina calligraph, kina Mr. Seed, ah. kina Kodida. <laughs> Those legend, eh? That legend was sahi yeah. nikiwajua walikuwa hata wana kitu wanatembea mngu. <laughs> walikuwa wameparara. Walikuwa wameparara. Kama dancer wa Awili Ponce. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. So walikuwa chini sana mm. but uh, wamekuwa very hard working wame wamekuwa serious that's why wamefika mali wamefika so ndawapea story siku moja tu ya my journey na venye nimekuwa background nimekuwa mm. tu background ki watch ki watch industries nikiongea nao bado tuna wanani brief tunajua nini inaendelea but nimekuwa mm. Hapo ndo nilipata my knowledge ya even ku manage artist I used to manage, manage artists mm. na hiyo time nikiacha ku manage Miss P pia niliacha ku manage all other artists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nikasema mm. ni sawa so bif, kitambo kidogo nilikuwa na hii nilikuwa nimeanzisha jina yangu ya Sitati as an artist mm. a gospel artist but nikai break kidogo nifanye businesses so nikajiambia in another phase siku ingine nda kuja niamshe hiyo industry mm. when time is ripe unajua right. hao mkangi tu mm. hao waliamka cuz it was their time yeah, sure. now it's my time mm -hmm. so nimeamka sasa nikasema eh, ni stop management ni stop mm -hmm. niendele na live bands but hizo ni business mm -hmm. ni kuja sasa nianzishe my journey as a gospel artist aha wow uh, talking about the gospel artist there is a post, there is an, an annou announcement that you made, eh, that you wrote on your Instagram account. Ukasema, mm -hmm. you want to be the chairman of gospel industry ya Kenya. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, on your to kona pia gospel <laughs> chairman wa, wa Kenya, anajulikana kama Arrington Apoko. Uh, bro, baby, tuambie, uh, utaweza kwili Apoko, Apoko wako pale kama chairman, na pia kuna gadean angel pale, maybe... What do you think uh, utakuwa the most uh, legit one um, uh, available one when it comes to gospel industry kama chairman? Okay. <laughs> okay, I made a post na nikai post kwa Facebook na Nairobi gossip wakachukua wakai repost. It was talking about me being uh, the chairman, gospel chairman. Niko na hiyo kuna kitu naitwa kishawishi. It's an inspiration. Vitu zingine they are physical, but some things are always spiritual. Na join in Christianity, salvation and everything. Kuna the physical part, yeah. then kuna the spiritual part. part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he is spiritual. There are things that are spiritual. Neza kosa ku ku have a way I can explain them mm -hmm. physically. Lakini sasa kuna vitu zenye an inspiration. Mm -hmm. 
yenye ilikuwa inanikuja ni kama calling mm-hmm. but sasa kikusema Mungu alikuja kisauti kaniambia yo the boss the gospel chava na pana mm. utakuwa na wadanganya but it's just a, you know god speaks in many ways sure. eh? it's an inspiration i had mm-hmm. yeah i need to take up the industry niweze ku Quran cause uh, ukiangalia industry sa hizi bro gospel industry to realize there are many things that are not working mm. siku za kina rafton gospel industry ndio ilikuwa the main unajua mm. kushinda secular but mm. sa hizi it's funny watu wanatoka kwa gospel industry kina wilipoze na bahati wanaingia secular thinking secular iko better mm. at least congratulations to kina Guardian Angel mm-hmm. wamebaki pale. That's mm-hmm. a very good thing Guardian Angel. Congratulations. So idea yangu ni I come back, mm-hmm. I plan the industry. Mm-hmm. Na break chini na itawale watu wameka kwa industry for years. Mm-hmm. Kina Guardian Angel, kina Unis Njeri, mm-hmm. kina Masimasika all those tukae chini tujue where mvua ilianza kutupigia wapi. Mm-hmm. Unajua? Mm-hmm. Then tukiwa hivyo tuta, tuta discuss tujue mm. ni nini tunafaa kufanya ndio to clean the industry we come back cause guys Mungu tunafaa ku take over as the Christians. Mm-hmm. Who is sema mtu anatoka kwa gospel bro aingie secular. It shouldn't be like watu wanafaa kutoka kwa ulimwengu wa giza wakuja kwa ulimwengu wa mwangaza cause we are in the light they in the dark. Mm-hmm. Unajua? Mm-hmm. So that's why mimi niliamua kukuja nichukue hiyo nichukue nianze ku run the industry with the help of kina the who's and who's wenye tunajua but pia ukiangalia upande wa Rington apoko yeah. <laughs> Staki vita <laughs> lakini Rington alikuja akasema yeye yeah, ataanza kufanya love songs sijika unakumbuka nakumbuka ile eh yeah, akuja akasema ataanza kufanya mziki si ya gospel so kukakuwa na confusion hapo mm. kukashindwa ah ringtone that's the time i had that inspiration mm-hmm. that's what the time niliandika hiyo post mm-hmm. jua tu ukiangalia life ya ringtone apoko sana hajaweza sana ku, ku stand on gospel pushing gospel ku stand on uh, on values and everything siezi sema mimi niko na values right but kidogo na kuna ku, kuna Ukiangalia live ya Rington sana ni ku fight wealth kuonyesha watu niko nayo hatujui kama uko nayo but okay stack sana ako, ako na nyumba kubwa pale runda pale <laughs> I just over heard that hiyo nyumba ni ya mtu na inachukuliwa ah. but stack kwenda ile nyumba inachukuliwa <laughs> okay allegations si allegations sure. allegedly <laughs> allegedly yeah. siko sure but um, ni sawa mm. but sasa wacha tu wacha tuchukue vitu a bit serious yeah tufanye vitu zinaonyesha mm. tunaenda mahali as a, a kingdom of god unajua mm-hmm. tusishinde mavita scandals fights mm. here and there unajua hiyo ina inakuwa tume replace <laughs> ile christianity na scandals <laughs> so that atusukumi christianity tunasukuma scandals mm-hmm. so that hapo tunashindwa sasa rincho na poko who is the person he is glorifying unajua lazima tuulizane who are you glorifying kama una glorify my riches and myself and everything mm. ama una glorify god you know mm. yeah so all right yes yes ah <sighs> story story ni kubwa but we still have another show another interview that we're going to do uh maybe very soon now see you yes. so mr steve I really appreciate you brother for he uh, inge kwa history ni ndefu sana but due to time <laughs> we gonna we still have another time to have you again on the show uh, sindio so i really appreciate you steve uh uh st- 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 yes <laughs> for having today on the show it has been really uh, an amazing uh convo uh, a very constructive uh interview an exclusive interview with you at least now we have understood and we have checked what really happened between you and miss p as a former manager that you used to manage i'll see you and people have heard and they have heard from you now that's why i had to bring you on the show to clarify to clear on the hair what truly really happened up to date and why miss p has been silent so i really appreciate brother i'll see you so guys uh um have been your host walter wanyes aka the cloth now we have been 
I have been with me, uh, the former manager of Miss P, that is uh, Sitati, or rather Steve. We have been talking about what really happened and why he want to be the chairman of gospel industry mm -hmm. in Kenya. I don't know whether if he, he's going to uh, take over and where <laughs> so many questions are going to be there like, where is the chairman of gospel currently so the self-proclaimed chairman of gospel of kenya so guys i thank you so much i really appreciate i'm checking out see you in the next video for now bye uh.